In this problem, we want to find the inverse of the function. So we've got uh, f of x is equal to the square root of x minus 1. Well, our first step, replace f of x with y. So this becomes y is equal to the square root of x minus 1. Step 2, interchange x and y. So we got x is equal to the square root of y minus 1. Now step 3 is to solve for y. Well this is a um, radical equation. Uh, solving a radical equation you get, uh, get a radical by itself is your first step. Second step is raise both sides to a power equal to your index. Well the index is the number in this little slot right here and if we got a square root there is no number it's by default 2. So we're going to take both sides of the second power. That gives us x squared, and uh, the square root and the second power cancel each other and leave us y minus 1. Take the negative 1 over, we get x squared plus 1 is equal to y. Step 4, replace your y with your inverse notation. So the inverse of f is going to equal to x squared plus 1. Now, unfortunately, this one is uh, not 1 to 1. You can't have x to an even power. So we have to look at our graphs to figure out what to do. What we came up with, x squared plus 1, x squared remember is the u-shaped graph, the parabola, and plus 1 shifts it up 1. So what we came up with is this right here. And obviously it fails the, uh, the horizontal line test, so it's not 1 to 1. Uh, what we want, let's take a look at that. Now the square root of x, we know what that looks like, that's our basic graph. When you got a number inside of the x, it shifts to the left or right, opposite what you think. The negative 1 would make us think it goes left 1, so it's really going right 1. So the graph will look like that right there. Well, remember these are symmetric to the line. Not that I can draw a straight line, but they're symmetric to the line y is equal to x. Which means you can flip it across it. So I take that, flip it across this line, and it'll give me my inverse. Now, um... that black, there we go. This one starts at 1 on our x-axis, so our inverse is going to start at 1 on our y-axis. And uh, that's probably as good as I'm going to be able to draw it. That will be our inverse. And this is our function. Well, what we came up with, we want this. This is what we came up with. It looks like we keep the right side of this graph. So, how we keep the right side of the graph is we put a condition on x. We say x is greater than or equal to 0. reason why is because right here, exactly in the middle, this is x equals 0. So we're, we're keeping the greater than or equal to side, so the right side of it. And that's our answer.